Hello and welcome to this quick start video for Evolve Labs Helix tool. The intention of this video is to get you started using Helix, allowing you to begin syncing your Revit and SketchUp models seamlessly. If you haven't already, please make sure you have downloaded Helix and walked through all of the necessary installation steps. As soon as installation is complete, we will open SketchUp and start a new file. We will also open Revit and begin a new project using the Imperial template for this example. Beginning in a Revit 3D view, I'll start by modeling some walls. And then I will place some components such as doors and windows. Once that's finished, I will go to my Evolve Lab tab and complete a few steps. To get this geometry into SketchUp, all I have to do is export active view, which will send it over to the SketchUp side. Another important step is to sync my family types, which will allow me to map actual Revit families within SketchUp. And finally, I want to export my levels. On the SketchUp side, with a successful installation, you will see the Helix button on your toolbar. Opening Helix, the first thing we will do is click Import from Revit, and you will begin to see that geometry show up within SketchUp. Next, I will bring in the levels, and I typically like to change the line type and hide the surface of the levels for easier navigation. And that's a quick demonstration of bringing Revit into SketchUp. Next, we'll go the other direction from SketchUp to Revit. I will begin by modeling a quick box and extrude it. I will make it sloped, and then I'll add some tags for Helix floor, roof, walls, windows, and doors. Then I'm going to start creating some objects. I'll make this a component and call it door one. I will extrude the door to give it dimension, which Helix will automatically detect when we import it into Revit. Then I'm going to repeat this process and create some windows. If I change the aesthetic to color by tag, I can begin mapping these objects by the tags that I previously created. So now if I click on the wall, I can assign it to the wall category and map to a specific wall type from the list, which was populated when I synced family types from Revit. I will then repeat these steps, mapping all of this geometry to categories and families within Revit. You can see on my door, I have the option to map by component or by layer, which will map everything on that layer to a specific category. In this case, I will leave it as a helix door, so it will auto-detect the dimensions. And I will do the same with the windows. Lastly, I will map Sumel as a mesh, and I will click Send to Revit. Back on the Revit side, I can Load Model, and Helix will begin importing native Revit objects into my project which can be modified as usual within Revit. This is a quick look at how we bring SketchUp objects into Revit and Revit into SketchUp. Using these techniques, we can execute very complex workflows. Please check out the Evolve Lab forum for an updated list of those workflows. But this should get you started using the Helix tool and syncing your SketchUp and Revit models. Thanks for watching this video. 